Hey, before I get too far here, today's project, mounting the tire bracket back on the front end of this trailer. Had uh, the old mount broke, didn't really even have bolts in it. It just had a chain wrapped around it. So it was never sufficient to hold the trailer there. So we've cleaned up what broke off. We've got a piece of angle here. That's fit in there. We're gonna drill out, we're gonna drill out this hole here. And we're gonna put another piece behind here to stiffen this up. This is eighth inch, so it's not quite rugged enough by itself, but when it's sandwiched into this piece, and we'll put another piece back here where this old one broke off. And they'll also do a third bolt at the bottom. So we look a lot like the Jeep one. One, two, three bolts down here. Although this is a six bolt tire. In the back of the trailer, to hold out the ramps, they have a pin that goes in here. And it's supposed to come down in this area to get the rail from sliding out. Well, this is busted off. This is actually half inch EMT. Never should have been there. On the other side, we've got a piece of quarter inch, six by quarter inch pipe nipple, and they drilled a hole in it, welded it on there. When that drops in, that keeps the ramp from sliding out. So I'm gonna get a pipe nipple and add it to this thing. So we've uh, got our holes in here, got a hole in here. That lines up pretty good. I'll put a backer plate on here so that's a little thicker and we'll weld, come up here and weld that to make that work. Um, we gotta come down here with the, one of the other holes. So let's get this hooked up with the bolts in it and then we can see where the bottom's gonna set. Well, we got this uh, stud set up. We're gonna put a tack on that, see how square it is. All right, it didn't look too bad. Got some penetration. You can see where it came through on the sides and the top. They'll hold. Here we have, now we're gonna try a dry fit. See if we can make it work. Now we'll try and tack that in place from the back side. I want to make sure that we've got enough room around the bottom of the tire. I can tack these areas good. It's getting back underneath there to tack the back side of the stud. That'll be the challenge. Alright, well, we got a couple of tacks on there. Uh, well, that stud looks really cockeyed. I think I can tap it up with that tap. Well, we, we know it mounts there, but it's not the kind of precision I like to see. There we go. Lock of wood, straightened it out. Now we can uh, pull the clamps and weld it up tight. Now we gotta work on our bolt down here. So it's gonna be a T piece that comes down here. 
and then we'll tie it back in here to stiffen it up and that will finish this all right we're welding up this piece that goes in there so we've got the stud we've got a little bend in this piece so it sits in here hey hindsight 2020 putting a half inch washer in then the lug nut gets this stud nice and straight and square that would have been a great thing to do ahead of time so i'm going to tack the back side here and now it will be just the way it's supposed to be So now we have this stud mounted here, so it's gonna be perfectly aligned. We've got this set up on the cross piece, clamped in place. We'll tack this on here. That will take care of that, and then we'll put a reinforcement on the backside. seen that ahead of time I would have raised it up about half an inch all right pull that up a little bit make a little brace on the back side I think we'll be golden I guess All painted up, cleaned up, ready to go. Yes, it got dark all of a sudden. So we got the little bracket on there. That bracket will stiffen it up a little bit. And uh, we'll throw a tire on here, see what it looks like. And in the back here, safety pins all in good shape. So there we are. The tire is mounted well on the front of the trailer. Sits good. Nice and solid. Not going anywhere. And secure. All right. So, there we are. Trailer's good. Tire's good. Helping out a buddy. I'll do it again anytime. Thanks for watching.